Hello and welcome to DG UK TV with myself, Martin Brennan. Today we're going to be talking about 1v1 situations and how you can become more effective in these situations. Okay, step one. We're going to be looking at the player's first and second touch. So as the ball break, break through the back four or back three or two, what's going to happen, you're going to start analysing how big or small the forward's touches are. So for example, if you've got your goalkeeper here and your forward here, if the centre forward's taking big touches, this gives you the amount of the time to also get a lot closer to the ball. So if it's taking big touches, this gives you the time like here to also get closer to the ball. If now they're taking a lot closer touches, this will make this a lot, lot more difficult, which is meaning you're going to probably have to make smaller movements as well, just in case they take a quick touch and shoot, and obviously you're not going to be set. Okay, step two. The next thing we look at is moving in a controlled and packed manner. This overlaps a little bit with the block save. But what we're talking about moving in a controlled manner, if you start storming out and they do take short touches, like I said in step one, and they take a short touch and shoot, you're not going to be prepared for that shot. So the idea is that as you're moving, you're standing in a nice controlled manner as you're moving up the line, and then you can expect anything that potentially they're throwing at you. Okay, step three. I believe this is one of the most important parts of this 1v1 situations, is keeping your eyes purely focused on the ball. So whatever that centre forward or winger or whoever he is, or whoever she is, you know, they're stepping over, doing whatever they're doing, the most important thing is just keep your eye focused purely on the ball. Okay, fourth and final step. Can you delay by standing up as long as possible? So the idea here is once you've got, you know, that you've analysed the one or two touch, you've moved up the, up the line in a controlled manner, you're keeping your eyes on the ball, now can you stand up as long as you can and really put pressure on the centre forward that's actually got to physically take it round you or shoot? Remember in this situation, you don't always have to touch the ball to affect that situation. If you can stand up, stay on your feet as long as you can, and jockey wherever they're going with that ball, this then will give you the opportunity for your defenders or your players to start coming back, which is why in these training sessions it's important when you're doing 1v1s that you do always put a time limit on it. 